<laughs> so talk a little bit, we're at CinemaCon. Uh, what do you guys, are you world premiering footage today? We are indeed, yeah. Yes. It's the first time anyone's gonna see it other than us. Two and, and a half minutes. Gazillion hours. Two and a half minutes of uh, gold. Is it, is it a trailer? It's a teaser. So it's a, and how soon before this is online? I would imagine this is what's going online. This will be, a, a tweaked version of this will go online, I believe, right after Avengers comes in. So first week of May, something like that. That's the plan. Okay. You may not want to say that, though. No, it's fine. What's it doesn't, yeah, it, it, um, it's fine. Yeah, no we, want, we want people to see Thor in a different light in our movie. I understand. Um, you guys have done some test screenings of the yeah. film. What have you learned from the test screening process, and how has it been performing? It's been performing very well, fortunately, and we don't have to lie to say that, which is very nice. Uh, people were going nuts at certain moments, and, and we, we highlight one of those in the teaser that you're going to see. Uh, that is that is gonna get people very riled up and the studio had enough confidence in it to move it up to July against uh, Mission Impossible So what could go wrong? Yeah, <laughs> you guys weren't nervous about that decision at all. Not at all. We were happy we were pushing for it Obviously, you know, it's a summer road trip movie to have it in October doesn't make a whole lot of sense. No, I agree with that actually there are, There's a lot of room for multiple successes in the summer. I like to tell myself a hundred percent. Also, there's yeah, a hundred percent. One of the things I kept on hearing about your project is, film is that how good the script was. So, and that's one of the reasons why everyone got excited. So, talk a little bit about how you cracked the code or how this thing came together. We found these great writers, uh, Goldstein and Daly, and they just wrote a script that. Should I keep doing this? Bit? Just keep going. Keep with going. It. Um, you know, it's it was a, it's obviously a tough balance because you want to pay homage to some extent to the original and have respect for that, but you have to make it your own, and it has to live as something that works if you haven't seen the original release, and that was always our. It's a it's a delicate out. balance, uh, but we couldn't we couldn't live with ourselves purely copying gags from. The original some of them being copies but not uh, right uh, they're nods to them they're not full they're on. nods they're, they're, <laughs> yeah. we have terminology for everything here uh, but no I mean we, we wanted it to be something that we were proud of you know and, and I think it, it I think it is you know we're both we've been spending so much time on this movie we can't really think of anything else at this point we've become obsessed with this movie kind of no one is more obsessed with this movie than we are when have you, did you wrap? Are you done done? We're or? done done. We're in post still. I mean, we still have um, a little bit of tweaking, sound mixing and stuff, but, but it's basically in the can. Talk, the talk about the soundtrack. Do you have songs? Do you, is it a score? What's It's all vote? drumming like Birdman. <laughs> There's Same no guy. melody. We're just actually using the Birdman. Right. The soundtrack. We use a drum track from Holiday Road, but nothing else. So no, no, we have we have we're lucky to have Mark Mothersbaugh as our composer who did the Jump Street movies and the Lego movies. He's movie he's a little talented. Devo. Just a little. Um, yeah. And we have some great songs. Um, and you may hear a familiar certain Lindsey Buckingham song in there. So. That's actually what I wanted to ask you. There are some classic songs in the first. It, are you homaging anything? Are you borrowing? Is it like I remember that song from when I was a kid? Kind of. Uh, we I think we put it in a place. Well, a couple places as it stands now that I think are very appropriate and and evoke, respectful. Evoke, evoke the original, um, but you know we did. We also wanted to make it clear that this isn't just that movie again, and so we we use it. I think where it's appropriate, and then we put more current stuff in. We have some songs from the '70s. It's it's a it's a mix, really. Um, sure. How long was your first cut, and how long is the actual release? The first cut was 62 minutes, um, <laughs> and we brought it. We shaved it down to about 23. So. <laughs> Right. You know, it was never, you know, it was funny, we never uh, went super long, it was like just under two hours, and I think it's now 147 or something. Oh, okay, so that's, was it deleted scenes, or you just made things tighter? We deleted some stuff, we um, tightened a lot. Um, you have to kill a lot of babies. There's always, you always not shoot literally. more, you shoot stuff that's great, but it just doesn't, it's not necessary, and we feel like if we can keep our A jokes closer together and not put B jokes in between them, it'll play that much better. Totally. Um, I have to go with the two of you, but I'm sincerely looking forward to seeing the trailer and the finished film. Thank and we'll, you. we'll talk more when the movie's getting ready to Sounds come good. out. Awesome. Thanks, Let me hit Steve. stop.